Alright, recognition of adjectives and adverbs. Adjectives and adverbs can be distinguished from each other by their form and their position in a sentence. Here's some ways of distinguishing these words. So, if a verb fits in one of the following blank positions, then it is an adjective and not an adverb. For example, he was blank. She was blank. You could say she was very cowardly. You could say she was very, uh, she was very fat. Um, some adjectives, of course, will not fit these blanks because they should not be used with a tensifer very. He was very unique is incorrect. Since unique means one of a kind, there are no real degrees of being unique. More important, however, is the fact that other noun modifiers do not go in these blanks. However, this is a useful way to distinguish adjectives from other noun modifiers. This sentence is correct. Or, sorry, this sentence is incorrect. Because she was a city dweller, she was very city. City can be a noun modifier, but it is not an adjective. So this is in. Now, a correct example would be <coughs> because he was a jolly green giant. He was green and jolly. See, here green and jolly are adjectives, so you could use them here also. Adjectives and adverbs can sometimes be distinguished by form. For example, let's take the noun um, theory. The adjective form would be theoretical. Adverb would be theoretically. Theoretically. Uh, let's take the word honor, which is also a noun. Adjective form would be honorable. The adverb form would be honorably. So we sort of see here that m most um, adverbs are adjectives plus ly. Um, in, in a few cases, both the adjectives and the adverbs can end in ly. For example, um, cowardly or hourly. As if saying, the train arrives hourly. Likewise, you can say, the dog was acting cowardly.